Thanks, you. Ronnie. Thank you, Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen the situation. Oh, I said, are you happy I can see the red? Are you happy I can see the red? That's what I'm saying. I don't know if you're back I can't see the red. I've seen the situation. No, did you think I can see the red? Judge, do you want to have a little look at it? Because I don't want to It's your... Just have a little look. I can see the red. It's your shot. If I miss it, that one. If I miss it. What he's saying is he can see the edge of the red and he wants Trump to be happy that he can in case it's put back incorrectly. Olivia Martil was saying, I know where to put it back, essentially. Yeah, because he could miss the ball like he did. And if it is replaced, he wants to be able to hit, to hit it again. Have a look, please, Ronnie. Well, he just shook oh, his sir, head and he says, no, he can't see the red. I mean, that was the whole point, wasn't it? The whole point was he could see the edge of it. Exactly. You know, that's why he asked his opponent to have a look as well, because the referee wouldn't confirm that he can see the edge of the red. Yeah, the line is very good. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can tell you, he won't, unless he can see the edge, he will not be happy with this, because he, the whole point was he wanted to show Trump that he could see it look, for this please? very scenario. Look, look, I'm not. <laughs> inviting Trump to have a look. A mill this way? A fraction? <laughs> Moved it this way. I oh, said, so can we double check? It wants to go to the right, not yeah. back to the Fine. boat cushion. And it is only a fraction, the slightest fraction, but he's got to be able to hit the red. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's what you can see with the line fraction. here also minus. A Sorry, Marcel. Towards this way. Marcel Eckhart is the, uh, the marker. Is a fraction? Yeah, it's, it's... It's a fraction. Is the position correct, Mars? No, no. Oh, you can. The referee saying he can see the red now. It is right, it is right. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. I still can't see the red though. Yeah, but you can still flick the red on the left-hand side. No, no. You, you try. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you try, he says. <laughs> according to the picture, according to my marker, it's bang on. Chad, Chad, have a double look. Have a it's not really up to Trump. I mean, he's I mean, coming for over. Me, this is what I saw before you played the first shot. I've I've moved it already to I'm the left. Not, not right. So you agree to the left? This way, yeah. yeah. <laughs> moved it to the left, like a fraction. Yeah? Perfect. <laughs> well it looks like Judd, thank finally you. Finally we're gonna play this shot again. If he misses it again, it'll have to be a rethink. Quiet down now, please. <laughs> well, you, you agreed before. No, no, I, I literally can't see the it. The cue ball didn't move now, so no, you agreed I like... I can't see it. So what do you want me to do? Do I play a different shot? No, 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 I'm not saying no, that. I'm happy to do it. If you're not I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I can't but according to my marker, Judd, Judd, is, Judd is all right. I see. You can it's see the red. Do you think I can see that red? Thank you. Right. Thank you. Mars. Do you want to take the cue ball off and we do it properly again? Just, just move it to the left. Yeah. I, I already moved it to the left. It. Yes. It's a fraction. I mean, down the line there, it looks like you can just see it. Okay. And that's what he was trying to do. 
the first time and he could see it. We looked and saw that he could see it. Fed Trump, 52. Mm. Fed that with his right hand. One. Not 27 behind before he came to the table, so he needs the pink. The position on the green was not bad for snookers. Seven. Mm. Black. Okay, not on the spot, but still a good target. Oh, he hasn't played this too good. It may have left the seven. yellow one. That's a poor shot from Ronnie. So, second chance for Judd Trump. Look, I'll tell you what, he could be in big trouble because he can get tight in behind the brown. How did that yellow Two. not go in? But if he gets tight up behind the brown, it could be a very difficult snooker to escape from. Yeah, shake of the head from Joe Trump as he came to the table. This is of his own doing, missing that red, playing it right-handed, you cannot take your concentration off this game for one second, and particularly against Ronnie O'Sullivan. If he misses it, he's missed it, is he? Yeah. Now, if it's a free ball, he could be in trouble even more. Foul. That cue ball needs to go. It's going to be a free ball. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. And a free ball. Wow. That's the first part, which is not perfect by any means. Three. Ronnie three. Back up the table it is. I know it's the best at 35, but from a psychological point of view, this is uh, quite an important frame. If Judd was to lose this, it would give him an awful lot to think about because it should be two each. Surely not. No. No, this is this is tough. This is extremely tough. How do you avoid the double kiss here? Well, he's thought long and hard, and what's his choice? Maybe he's going to play ball cushion first with the cue ball. Yeah. Well. It was a good effort, but it's too short a pace. He's going to leave Ronnie O'Sullivan. A half chance here. Always better to miss it on the thin side. Terrific match play snooker in this frame. Just a bit short of pace on that. Where's the white going though? The green's in, and so is the white. He's just playing Judge a safety four. shot, fluked the green, and seen the white disappear. No. These middle pockets are so tight, and can you believe it? Oh, I can't believe he's missed that, Dennis. Mm, this looks a bit pacey, needs to slow up. Three. A bit pacey indeed, he's going to have to get the extension. Extended rest maybe. Yes, yeah, sure. yeah, he's got to avoid the black on the way back up. He's played it nicely. <coughs> I can just come off pink and black for a respot. 18. Well, 
he's left a little bit more of an angle than he probably could have. He could have got closer to this black. for him to win. And he's played it well. He's played that very well indeed. How did Judd Trump lose that frame? Which he has done. If he misses the blue, it's perfect. If he cannons the blue, he could be in trouble. Eight. Why oh, hit it so hard? Foul. And a miss. Real Sullivan, eight. He played it very fast, didn't he? Ronnie. What just did you say? That's it. That's it. No, no, no. Tell me. What did you say? I'm not going to see it. You tell me what you said. So you saw nothing. And I'm not. And Judd, nothing to do with Judd. Sorry. Yeah, but I had to say something, Judd. I had to. I could have said it after the game. I had to. Whatever it was, Judd said to the referee, well, you could have uh, had a word after the game. So I'm not quite sure, Ken. Mm. We could have done without this just for the exactly. end of this magnificent session that we've had here. He's got it. Concentration and what a good shot that was. Five. Players have Nine. got just over two and a half hours. He's done remarkably well, has Judd Trump to win the last two frames. That's something a bit special. This looks a good safety. Mm. We need to swap seats, don't we? <laughs> Final the miss. Well, Ronnie's still got his cue there, more or less saying that's where it was. So <laughs> he's still got the cue there. Yep. Can I, can I just check? <laughs> <laughs> That's about right, I think. I think what's here? Tessislava Bosilova is the market. Yeah, and that was the danger, catching it a little bit too thick. Not just the pot, but threading that cue ball through the gap. I don't know about you, Cam, but I've got sweaty palms here in the commentary box. Mm. Mm. Was not a good one from Ronnie O'Sullivan. If it hits the blue, he could be leaving this red, and he has done. Oh, no, 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 a little bit of an air. Everyone hit the wrong Thank red you. there. So we're seeing sort of a little bit of nerves. It's such a fabulous theatre, but you can hear every little noise. Straight away, he's finished perfect on the red oh. if he wants to get on the black. No, he wants to get that black and he's dropped in behind it. And the only problem, he's finished tight on the cushion, so he can't stun it to leave that red that's to the right and to the back. Where is he going to try and hold? He may run the cue ball into the pack of reds. Hope to bring out something. It's gone wrong. Touching ball. Touching ball, so it's not too bad. He can just play away from the red. Twelve. I expect a little bit of an edgy start in this first frame of this session. Yeah, I completely agree with you, Dennis. I, these open exchanges are so important for both players. And particularly for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Because he's being pegged back and there's a bit more pressure in there. That was a good safety shot. 
can he swerve around the blue here and the yellow he's got to be very close yeah he's okay a little bit of swerve that's pretty good no played. Tom's game these days his safety has improved dramatically over the last couple of seasons that's why he's won so many tournaments but Ronnie when he wants to be is one of the best tactical players in the game he's hit that a little thin but everything's safe yeah, I was just so impressed with Judge Trump's character determination this afternoon a lot of fighting qualities most great champions do and he's given himself a chance tonight and no doubt about that now first half opportunity for Ronnie O'Sullivan this long red into the bottom right corner pocket One. that is a wonderful opening long red there <coughs> it's not a decent chance by any means but this is a player that can soon develop a game in a couple of shots oh <laughs> I thought he was going to miss that it wobbled a little bit it looked a bit wide didn't it yeah but that opening red if anything Six. was going to settle your nerves is certainly knocking pots in like that that red was beautifully cued Seven. now as he got top side of the blue needs to go the cue ball just a slight angle Well, that was a wonderfully played shot. He had so much side on that. And the Twelve. white picked up speed and he's developed a couple of reds. And he can give himself a real opportunity in this opening frame. Yeah, well played. 13. He's held it for the pink. And he's just having a look at the red. Yeah, there you see. It's pretty tight, but it's okay. You can hold for that. 90. Mm, that's a wonderful positional shot as well, judging off the side cushion. Session this afternoon, his opponent played superbly well. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. After seventeen days, Ronnie looks fresh. He looks focused. And even though he lost that session, six-two. Thirty-four. Yeah, he does. And that was a lovely little shot he played there. Just that little cannon, delicate 35. little cannon. Just holding for that red. And this is where he's at his best. And around the black. Beautiful little series of stuns and follow throughs and soft screws. Brilliant. His cue ball control is second to none. 42. Gotta be careful here. Not just the red, but he should be okay. In fact, he can 42. avoid canning the red. But I think everything's blocking each other into the left corner and got a bit to do with the cue ball here and here it comes how's your luck Ronnie <laughs> yeah, looked easy but that was some <laughs> shot he's played there the amount of spin he had on the ball there fizzing it off two cushions that's in that's okay <laughs> What an opportunity now. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. So he just needs one more red then. What he's doing, what great champions seem to be able to do at the start of a session. The king of the crucible, Stephen Hendry, used to do this so often. Start a session with a frame running break. Oh, this bit. Sublime break from 73. Six times champion. He was asked a question. 74. He's certainly coming up with the answers in this first frame for sure. What a wonderful opening red to start this break. With his cue ball. 
Williams on a string. Beautiful control. 81. 82. 82. Oh, what a shame the black doesn't win. But what a start for the rock of Ronnie O'Sullivan. He got one opportunity and he made a frame winning break. And now he leads by 15 frames to 11. Three frames away to equal history here at the Crucible. It's a four ball plant he's possibly looking at here. And he's decided on the loose red. And that's a pretty good choice, I think. It's so unfortunate to land there. Blue ball. Mm, Just from a little one. bit careless, that one. At this particular part of the game. Oh, is it that far too thin? I'd be expecting Ronnie O'Sullivan to put the cue ball behind those three ball colours here. bit short of pace. Has he got the cover? I don't think so. One. He's missed a few long ones, but if he starts knocking those in, he's going to be dangerous. Now, how's your luck here, Judd? It's okay, I think. Depends on the one next to the pink. Oh. It's a bit unlucky, you know. Mm, there's the 2002 world champion, Peter Ebden. Great to have him along this year. Of course, he was helping Jack Lazowski out. Made a wonderful run to the quarterfinals. There's Bond. The name's Bond. Nigel Bond, who's retired this year. Wonderful ambassador for our game. This time the cue ball is looking good behind yellow and brown. And that's a wonderful safety shot from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Looks perfect, this. If he's looking at this long red to the left corner. Well, he certainly looked at it, but this is so tough. If it's just off straight, this would be an unbelievable pot. Oh, what a shot. Well, that's up there with the shots of the championship, it has to be said. To pot it, but to screw the white back like that? Brilliant. <laughs> what an amazing shot. Not many players in the game could actually play that shot. He's blessed with timing, cue par, which would trump. And he got perfect position on the blue as well. Six. Open the black now when he pots this into both corner pockets and, and sort of free up that area a little bit. Oh. Seven. Need that cue ball to go through just a fraction more. He's slightly hampered by this red. Fractions, just fractions. Yeah, when you're bridging over the ball like that, it's so easy to get a little bit of unwanted side on it. Well, well that's a wonderful chance again now. In this game, when you miss and you go back to your seat and you've got to just watch your opponent knock the ones in that you should have had Eight. but that's why it's such a tough sport nine playing for the pink into the left corner he'll just leave the cue ball almost exactly where the pink is now just stop it dead perfect the red into the opposite corner what a chance this is 15 16 
24. I must say, Dennis, though, no, Ronnie does look very calm and very composed. He was put under a bit of pressure. There was a few little signs that maybe just getting to him, but mm, looks like a different player already 31. this evening. 32. Well, he had a few hours to talk with a few friends, and I think Steve Peters is here. So they'll have chatted about things, and he's come out, as we said, looking very fresh. 39. And he's up for the job of winning his seventh world title. 40. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. He's already thirty-three in front. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Black will be fifty with fifty-one remaining, so just one red. And it looks like it's going to be a formality. <laughs> Quick glance at 63. the score. Mm, Fifty-one ahead, so... Sixty-four. <laughs> Pretty much straightforward. What a start from Ronnie O'Sullivan here, Dennis. 71. Stephen Hendry has made 16 centuries in the World Championship one year, equaled by Mark Williams this year. And Ronnie, if he can make a century here, will join that elite group. 79. 80. Hmm. Nice shot, leaves himself a nice angle on the pink that he can bring that yellow into play. A little delicate shot, beautifully played. And the possibility of another 86. Record equaling break here if he gets the century. Oh, has to go around the table. Well, he's going to play the green in the centre. Oh, such a shame. What a wonderful break of 88 from the six times champion of the world. He leads Trump now by 16 frames to 11. Judd Trump needs a frame to take us to a mid session interval. Two more frames to be played. Can he get the chance? Get on this red at the back of the bunch here. And after the next shot, there could be quite a few more reds in play. It just depends on the angle Six. he has here, but the opening pot, once again, brilliant. Seven. Oh, very well controlled mm. as well. He looks Amazing, those two shots. Amazing. What a 15. talent. What a genius. 21. Sure. Very shortly, just asking the referee to respot the pink, so that tells us maybe he's not on this red. It's very tight. No, he's going to have to bend that. So that was a little slip up there. 21. Yeah, mistake from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Mm, not happy. It's okay. Played it nicely. Very nicely indeed.
I'm just going to avoid that red on the left hand side cushion. Oh, you've got a heavy contact there and it's rolled off. That is very unlucky. He's got a slight heavy contact on that red. You could hear it even here in the commentary box. And watch it just roll towards the left hand side. That's in from there. Just watch it veer offline slightly. Very unlucky. One. He's a much better shot, positional wise. As long as he's not dead straight, and he's not. But that's. I still expected him to knock that in, but uh, misjudgment there. Yeah, particularly the way he was playing it. Trying to get the cue ball out off the cushion. When they're so tight to the top cushion. He might have been what? better off playing that with running side as opposed to check side, as we say. We need to put right hand side. Now, he needs a split here, Judd Trump. Oh. <laughs> the Eight. snooker gods have gone against them so far this evening to Trump he said no luck to Trump 8 well he simply just got to win this frame somehow to Trump always feel as long as your opponent needs two frames no matter what you're behind you always feel you've got a chance he does have the red into the top left hand corner pocket but a lot of pressure on this oh, yeah. Three reds five. on the cushions and the five reds are covering each other. Big shot coming up. Six. Mm. I'm going to hit the pink, but not with too much pace. Doesn't want to lose the cue ball. Yeah, it's a delicate little shot. Now, how's your look? It's okay. I think he's got a red into the left corner. Eleven. Oh, it's tight, but I think it pots. Eighteen. Nine. It's not a straightforward run to the winning line in this frame. Twenty-six. Coming back for the loose reds. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. the cannon onto those reds he needs to be over the left side of the table as we look at it would be much better as he left the now he could just manage to run through from a better chance to develop one of these reds that's okay it's going to be the other one would love to get nicely in behind the one just behind the black and to the left and he wanted to get close to it and this looks pretty good brilliant shot that's a wonderful touch natural angle will bring the cue ball off the top cushion it's there Well, we definitely are going to get a mid-session interval as Romeo break. Sullivan stays in the seat. It was a must-win frame for Judd Trump, and he's still battling away there. Romeo Sullivan now leads 16-12. So, last frame before the mid-session interval.
needs to slow up this red. Has he left it? Has he got the cover on the brown? He has got the cover. I was just wondering, would he attempt the cross double into the opposite middle pocket? This brown, boy, is this tough. That was a tough one. But he's an inspirational player, as we say, and he's not hes not going to refuse something like that. He's got to make something happen, and he did in the previous frame, but that was a tough one. Yeah, he's going to go for it, isn't he? now. Eight. Wonder will Ronnie stay in the black or go for blue here? He's going to stay on the black, but Nine. this requires an awful lot of top spin into the pack of reds. Not guaranteed to get one out here. Mm, I think he might have been better going up for the blue off that red, Dennis. Yeah, that's a difficult pack to split from the black. Is he going for a double? Yeah. Not quite, though. For your Sullivan, 16. Well, he had an anxious look to see if he left the red into the left middle pocket. If he has, that was the wrong choice of shot. Should never have been going for the double. You've got a guarantee you get it safe. And he's just overscrewed that a little bit, and he's left this pot on. Now, ah, where is this going to finish up? It's a long way away from that pot, but let me look at what happened. Red hits the cue ball. And knocks it into a position where Ronnie can have a go with this red. He's got it. What? He's so natural when he switches hands. Eight. Nine. The angle on the blue into the reds wasn't good enough. Oh, wonderful shot. Just, he just killed that, didn't he, Dennis? Didn't he hit it with pace of power? Just trusted his cue action. Lovely shot. Now the split. How is it? And how's your look? How's your look? I think it's good. I think it's very good. What a shot. Wonderful split, but he's a little unfortunate as we see it again. Didn't want to hit the pink that time, but the black won't go into the left corner, which makes that red into the right corner pretty awkward. He's going to have to power this one. And that's a great effort. No, it's okay. There, so definitely the blue. Twenty-six. He's got... Twenty-seven. Plenty of chances to clinch the match, so... Important visit, this. He just looks so relaxed, so cool. Thirty-four. As I said, at times in this afternoon session... Thirty-five. A little bit nervous. Precipice of history, glory. And of course, equaling seven times Stephen Hendry's record here at the Crucible. I remember speaking with him 42. when he won three world titles, and he said, "No, I'll never be able to get to Stephen Hendry's record." I said, "43." You've got to be joking. And just to avoid that cannon, was just the protection there. Fifty. Oh. Fifty-one. You think okay, it's just a matter of time now after the mid-session interval. Yeah, well, this is an important frame, isn't it? 58. 58. As Dennis said earlier, he's got 15 centuries at this year's World Championship. The record is 16 by Mark Williams, who achieved that this year. And Stephen Hendry, when he 66. won his last World Championship back in 1999. 67. Okay. So it's still on. 
74. The crowd sensed that as well. They know the records are possible. And then, wow. Uh, 75. Sullivan is one frame away from becoming champion of the world for the seventh time. He leads Judd Trump now by 17 frames to 12. At the home of Snooker, the Crucible Theatre. And yes, it's an honour to be sat next to the seven times champion of the world, Stephen Hendry. Well, Judd, he's made comebacks before in this match, particularly this afternoon. But surely Stephen now can't afford one mistake no not at all he's got to play perfect snooker now to stay in this match and as we've seen before the interval it's all out attack if he sees a pot he's going to go for it angle of this red can he drop it in for the black because only goes into the opposite corner mm, nice. didn't have the natural oh. angle it was a big sigh from Judd did he get a heavy contact mm, yes bit of a bounce wasn't he when cue ball met object ball this black is still possible but it's tough This is a thin one to the left corner and these type of shots, if you miss it, more often than not you leave the red over the pocket. Seventeen. I'm just looking where the next red comes from after the colour. And I'm not taking this black as a given. Twenty-four. Taking it on, far right corner. So up for the blue and angle required to go into the pink. 33. It's not the best angle. He may have to go off two cushions. Not sure if he can go directly into the pink. With power anyway. Yeah, that was always going to be difficult. Even with Judd Trump's cue power. 38. Fall on a miss, free ball, Judd Trump full. So, free ball, brown available. Brown, brown ball. Not sure if you can hold for the blue. You have to come down the table for black here. <coughs> yeah, well played. Excellent One. pace. Yeah, all Judd Trump can do is keep potting balls, 
try not to make any Eight. unforced errors and, and see where it takes him. Yes, today is the best he's played in this match. You felt for him yesterday. 16. 17. No, a little cannon. Well, that red just to the right of the pink. Well, he's playing a run through. It must be a, an easier red to get on. If you could avoid the cannon, you will. <coughs> 24. 25. 32. This red and a colour to get to snook is required. 33. 38. 39. 46. 47. Playing with a nice freedom. 52. 53. 60. 61. 66. 67. 74 75 82 oh, that's been wonderful stuff from Jack Trump 87 91 96. So the pink for the century. Super, super. Circumstances considered. Super. And a bit of naughty snooker to finish it off with. That's the type of frame he needed. Four behind. Safe, but once again, he's not found the ball cushion. Thank you. Is on. Only coming around to see if the black is available to left corner. One. It's okay to kiss in the blue because there's a red in between the black and the bunch that does go to the right corner. It's going to need a good cue ball to get on it properly. And a good cue ball he's got. Now if the black does go to the left corner, this is a chance. Well, he's not Seven. on the black. And I don't think there's anything to go at. Too risky. Ronnie O'Sullivan, seven. <laughs> Good shot. Very accurate. to pop himself out of trouble and well, that's a decent kiss on the yellow now the second red in that you could have played safe off it is possible Ronnie would fancy it if he can avoid kissing the red next to it well he couldn't avoid the red next to it now, I'm looking right down the 
line of the shot to the yellow. The yellow's not available, so it'll be another safety shot. Try and glue the cue ball to the bulk cushion. Try and not give Judd a path back to bulk. Well, you're seven and one. Not sure. I can see. Return to bulk. I mean, the red is on the black cushion. You could come off thin the left-hand side of it as we look. But that's such a tough shot. I can't see much else. Got to be careful if you miss it. The double kiss. And the end is done pretty well there. Yeah, I think so. Red is potable, but I don't think Ronnie will even give it a second look. Well, he is, and he's playing the cannon on the red by the black. He's played the cannon. He's got the pot. He's got the cannon. Yeah, fabulous pot. And is this the beginning? of the end of this match. Look at the Reds all through this World Championship. Eight. It's positions like this where Ronnie Sullivan has been lethal. He just hasn't missed. Hasn't left the table Nine. until the frame's been won. Judd thought he got it safe. Now the question is, as he's played his last shot. He'd like to cannon that red he's just grazed by, but he's still got an alternative to 16. the left middle. And the reds couldn't be spread better. 17. Mm, that was a nice little flick from the blue. Just kept him in perfect position. Yeah, it's just about the moment now, isn't it? Composure, that's what it's all about. It's something that he's not lacked. Just taking that extra second or two just to make sure in his mind he knows exactly what shot he's going to play. 22. I'd like to have been straighter on this red. 31. And almost a signature Ronnie O'Sullivan shot there. Absolutely perfect right side of the blue. 36. 37. there now for the taking yeah this is when your your mouth goes a bit dry you're just giving every shot 100 percent you know this is the moment you know you're, you're winning the match and the title here and it's just kind of going through the motions kind of an autopilot Fifty-two. Yep, the end is nine. Slick is required, and just this black to confirm that. And this will mean an awful lot to Ronnie O'Sullivan. Sixty. Sixty-one. He knows that he can save the best to do that, you need your name in those history books. 
And he's going to join you now, Stephen. Yeah, he's taken the game to new levels. The central breaks, the cue ball control, the safety game, the temperament, the killer instinct. 69. He said earlier in the week it was an honour to be at seven with Ronnie, and it is because he plays the game the way it's supposed to be played. He's an artist. 72. Won his first major title at the age of 17. He would have dreamed of this moment, equaling the great Stephen Hendry's record. And just to spare a thought for Judd Trump, once his potting comes back, it'll be a danger for everyone. But in the moment, in this final, Ronnie O'Sullivan has proved that he's the greatest player in the world. His dream to be seven times champion of the world has been realised. Ladies and gentlemen, what a final. What a champion. This is seventh heaven for a rocket. Mission accomplished, Mr. O'Sullivan. You're champion.